Katie, walk us through your goal. Um, uh, the ball got played out. Honestly, I don't really remember too much before that. I just remember Morgan getting the ball. She made eye contact with me, played me a ball in the air, and I just took a touch, turned, and shot it. <laughs> How excited are you for this team? I'm really excited. I think we had a really good second half. I think the girls that came in, Slade, um, Ashley, Leah, I think they did a great job coming in, and I think we really made a difference that game. How do you keep the focus now for Sunday? Um, I just think we need to come out with the intensity and know that this is our final game, and it's all the last thing that we have to do, and we need to get the job done. I mean, we came out in the first half a little bit slow, but we came out the second half, and we uh, we tested the we tested their will. We came out. I don't, I'm, I'm so excited. I've like lost of words right now. Um, we came out and we just uh, imposed our will on them. And I think that we started moving the ball. We started using the width and it worked to our advantage. It was a beautiful goal to win that game off of them. The defense, uh, not just the defense back line, but the whole defense in general manned up. And we kept that, we kept that lead and that's huge. Yeah, well, how's the confidence level going into Sunday? It's good, it's good. I mean, you gotta be confident at this point. If you're not confident, you're not going to win. So I know that uh, West Virginia is a great team. They're the number one seed. Um, we just need to come out as confident as we can and uh, play to the best of our ability. As one of the leaders of this team, how do you help keep everybody focused? I just uh, I just keep talking to them. I mean, I know talk is cheap sometimes, but I just keep saying, hey, stay locked in. Hey, do what we're good at. Move the ball. Like, Keep doing what we do. And um, I think that that just relaxes them, uh, I think. Uh, they look like they they like it when I say that, so I keep talking. And I think that just having that little voice behind them like allows them to stay relaxed and know that I'm still back there, that the defense is still back there, and I think it allows us to really uh, get back into our groove. How excited are you for this group? This is amazing. It's surreal. Like I can't even, I can't even, I don't even, I mean, I don't even know. I, I lost for words, speechless, because I, I mean, you know, you dream of this when you're a kid. You watch it on TV every year. And I just never, I never thought I'd be here. And then here we are, and it's just unreal. I'm so excited for this group. We, uh, we've worked really hard for this. So I hope we're able to finish it off. Uh, I thought, I thought it took us a little while to get into the game, but um, toward the end of the half and into the second half, especially the second half, uh, we started to find our way, find wh where the outlets were, and, and it was a gritty performance because Georgetown played absolutely fantastic. I think any nerves involved in that first half? I think so. I mean, I think when stage this big, you, you, you're definitely trying to find your way, get your footing, figure out the field, figure out the game. And Georgetown put so much pressure on early, it, it took us a little bit to get into it. Um, but then once we settled in, you could tell everybody took a deep breath, especially at halftime, and uh, they pushed forward. Katie Johnson's goal, beautiful effort. That was a great goal. The buildup, uh, the, the first touch, the ball in, and, and then the finish. I mean, I, I was really pleased with that goal. It was a, it was a well-played uh, buildup into it. So. Uh, excellent goal. What's the feel of this team right now going into the championship? <laughs> excitement, excitement. Uh, this is one of those. This is one of those games that uh, you, you dream about as a kid, and you, you hope to get into. And and uh, we're going to try to keep them calm for the next this night, and maybe into tomorrow, and then uh, just let them loose on Sunday. Yeah. How do you help keep the focus now and not let them get in over their heads or overwhelmed? Uh, you let them have tonight so they can celebrate, and then uh, tomorrow we, we get into game mode and we stay routine. We do the things that we've been doing all year so that uh, nothing is too different. Uh, try to get them to put their phones down a little bit, but uh, but definitely enjoy it tonight and then get focused and, and, and get ready for Sunday. You had the band, the song girls, spirit squad, a lot of fans out here. What does that mean to this team? Um, anytime you can get that kind of support here, they, they were loud, they were in it, the energy was good, uh, but not just here. I, I think the support from the alums that have written in and, and posted stuff on, on uh, social media, it's been great. The, the team is fed off of it and uh, used it to motivate them um, as a sense of pride that they have so many people behind them.